Las Vegas weather explained, and that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll! YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we are going to be talking about what the weather is like in Las Vegas throughout the year. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Okay, weather. A lot of people think only one thing about Las Vegas. Hot. It's hot. All right. Yes, it does get hot. But we're going to go through the different seasons and explain the different types of temperatures and what the weather is like through the seasons. Mm, yeah. Right? Not mm -hmm. just the hot month, right? Like a weather report. Yes. When it comes to weather, Las Vegas is only known for one thing, and that's extremes. Nestled in the heart of the Mojave Desert in Nevada, this vibrant city experiences a desert climate characterized by hot summers, mild winters, and a dramatic temperature fluctuations. The city experiences very little rainfall throughout the year and it averages only about four inches. Whether you're planning a trip to Las Vegas or just curious, let's dive into what you can expect the weather to be like here in Las Vegas. Perfect. So we're going to go over the summer months, which here in Vegas, technically it's June through August or June through September, but we're going to discuss June through August. So we're going to talk about the summers first mm -hmm. and summertime here is June through August. And summers in Las Vegas is not for the faint of heart. If you're visiting during this time, be prepared for scorching heat. Daytime temperatures often soar above 100 degrees and it's not uncommon to experience heat waves that make the sidewalks feel like hot coals. <laughs> and sometimes, and we've talked about this in a lot of videos, sometimes it'll be weeks where you are at 110 degrees daily, mm. if not higher, um, sometimes 112, and the nights are awful. July. July is the worst month, it's the hottest month, mm -hmm. okay? So some things about the summertime though, the nice thing is, is that we have low humidity, mm -hmm very little rainfall and sunny skies most of the time. Exactly. However, during the fall season, which is September through November, the temperatures often, uh, you get a reprieve from the blistering summer heat. And then September can also be quite warm with daytime temperatures hovering above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. However, as October and November roll in, you'll experience more comfortable temperatures ranging from the 70s to the 80s. Also, uh, midday during September through November, you have an average temperature between the 70s and 80s. You have cool nights with average low temperatures in the 50s and 60s, and then more rainfall than in the summer, but it's still relatively dry. Let's talk about winters in Las Vegas, and this is from December through February. And Las Vegas winters are mild compared to many other parts of the country. Daytime temperatures typically range between the 50s and 60s. However, don't forget to bring a jacket because the nights can get very chilly with temperatures dropping to the 30s. Mm, yeah, it's chilly. It is cold. So things to expect during the winter time here is mild days with average temperatures in the 50s and 60s with cool nights with average temperatures in the 30s and 40s and then a small chance of rain and maybe a chance of frost and snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes even to get cold enough where you have to turn off your uh, water to their your sprinkler systems, I've known. Yeah, and sometimes in the wintertime, it does snow here on rare occasions. Mm -hmm. I think the main snow was like in 2019. If we have a very wet winter, then we were going to have snow like in January, February time frame, but it doesn't stick and it only lasts a day. But sometimes on rare occasions, expect snow. It, yeah, and then it does make our mountains look very beautiful though, especially this last year. Yeah, we had a lot of rainfall. We did. Now, also the temperatures during the springtime, which is March through May, what you can expect is a delightful time to visit Las Vegas with daytime temperatures gradually warming up from the 60s to the 80s. And the weather is perfect for outdoor activities and you can enjoy the city without the scorching summer heat. Now those mild days with average high temperatures between the 70s and 80s in the spring, and there's but they do have warm nights 
with average low temperatures in the mid 50s and 60s. And then there's more rainfall than the, in, than in the winter, but it's still relatively dry. Yeah, um, typically they say, I think February is supposed to be our wettest month. And they used to say that we used to have monsoon seasons in the summertime, but that hasn't really a true monsoon season, which actually we did have this past this, year. This year, yeah. Um, at just recently we had a more monsoon season than ever, but back in the 90s, it was like monsoon season all the time. We got a lot of rain, but of course with climate change, we don't get as much rain as we used to. But one thing we didn't mention in any of this about the Las Vegas weather is one thing that people comment all the time and don't really talk about is what? Can you guess it? What? Wind! Oh, the wind. Yeah, the wind. They yes. should call Las Vegas the windy city because <laughs> it can get very windy. And you know, I made a video um, several years ago about uh, five reasons why I hate living in Las Vegas and it was wind. And Number people one. were like commenting, this is not windy, you're crazy. It is windy here, folks. Especially on the west side by the mountains, it can get windy. Um, usually springtime it gets very windy, mm -hmm. summer not so much, but it is super windy here and you have to get used to it, right? I would agree. Yeah, yeah. it does get windy. Mm -hmm. It's worth noting that Las Vegas experiences significant temperature fluctuations between day and night throughout the year. The city is also no stranger to extreme heat waves during the summer. So staying hydrated and protecting yourself for the sun's intensity is crucial. In conclusion, Las Vegas boasts a desert climate characterized by low humidity, abundant sunshine, and a wide temperature range between day and night. While summers can be searing, the rest of the year offers more moderate conditions. Marking Las Vegas popular year-round destination for visitors seeking diverse experiences. So whether you're hitting the famous Las Vegas Strip or exploring the desert landscape, knowing what to expect from the weather can enhance your trip to this dynamic desert oasis mm. um, and you know a lot of times once December is over with oftentimes January starts going in the 60s we tend to have a very long spring mm -hmm. um, and usually like um, January February March April May those are just like phenomenal months we love it yeah and then November and October are great months as well so if you figure January February March April May October, November, seven months mm -hmm. is pretty good climate. Um, and oftentimes it feels like you're in California. But the nice thing is we have no humidity. We have no hurricanes. So that's why a lot of people find the Las Vegas weather attractive and they will settle for the hot scorching summers. At least it's not like Palm Springs or Arizona, mm -hmm. right? It's hotter there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments what you think of this video and the weather in Las Vegas. And if you've ever visited Las Vegas during the summer, what'd you think? Yeah, what'd you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you, you like melt? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the weather in Las Vegas? <laughs> well, oftentimes you're in from one casino to another casino, from the car to the stores. So you're always in air conditioning. It's just that minute that you have to walk from the car to the store, <laughs> right? Right, when you melt. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, folks, please support my channel. Make sure you please hit that like button and subscribe. I talk a lot about Las Vegas and not just about Las Vegas, but neighborhoods in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one.